On a typical Friday evening, Lamar found himself in a hospital room, keeping his daughter company. He was in for a pleasant surprise when his men's group showed up unexpectedly, with the intention of taking him out to dinner. Their visit, however, had an unforeseen effect. The presence of these men, their energy, their camaraderie, it all breathed life into Lamar's daughter. She sat up, received hugs from each of them, and that night she needed less medication and slept better than she had in weeks. The next day she couldn't stop talking about her guys who had visited her. This surprise visit turned out to be more than just a pleasant evening. It was a demonstration of real masculinity, of setting boundaries, of asking for what they wanted in clear and direct ways. This experience would undoubtedly influence her future choice of partners. That night, a simple act of camaraderie transformed into a life lesson for a young girl. Switching gears, let's dive into the story of Carl, a successful businessman with a troubled personal life. Carl sat in my office, looking small despite his towering height and professional attire. He was a man held hostage by his own fear, intimidated by his wife, Danita. He portrayed her as a relentless steamroller, always angry, always demanding. This fear led him down a path of deception, lying to Danita and avoiding her whenever he could. The echoes of his past were loud and clear. Danita, in many ways, was a reflection of his mother, a woman he could never please. He learned to skirt around her anger, to lie and hide his true self. His childhood survival tactics were now the very same tools he used in his marriage. Every other area of Carl's life was perfect, or so he believed. If it wasn't for Danita, his life would be flawless. But behind this claim hid a deeper truth. Carl was a victim, not of Danita's dysfunction, but of his own. When we peel back the layers, we often find that nice guys like Carl end up in therapy for one of two reasons. The first reason is that some hidden behavior, an affair, an addiction, a secret life, has exploded, creating a crisis in their relationship. The fallout from these hidden behaviors can be devastating, shattering trust and causing deep emotional wounds. The second reason is rooted in dissatisfaction with their most intimate relationships. Perhaps their partner isn't as available or affectionate as they'd like, or maybe there's a disconnect in their physical relationship. This dissatisfaction can lead to feelings of resentment, frustration, and isolation. But beneath these surface issues, there's often a deeper struggle. Many nice guys grapple with setting boundaries, expressing their needs clearly, and prioritizing their own well-being. This struggle is a symptom of a larger issue, a disconnection from their authentic masculine energy. The struggle of the nice guy is real and deeply intertwined with their most intimate relationships. As we unravel these stories, we begin to understand the complexities of masculinity and relationships. We've glimpsed into the lives of Lamar and Carl, seen their trials, their growth, and their struggles. But what lies ahead? As we continue our journey, we'll delve deeper into their narratives, unveiling lessons that are relevant to all men navigating the intricate realms of relationships. Stay tuned for the next video, where we continue to explore these emotional journeys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.